Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today I'm going to go over a quick, quick way, two ways that you can reduce lag on Adobe Premiere Pro when playing back your footage. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Jack Farrell and I'm a freelance videographer and video editor and I teach you how to get paying clients with video editing and videography. So if you like that, make sure to subscribe and stick around and check out my other videos. Anyway, how do you reduce lag on Premiere Pro? The higher the quality of the footage, the more demanding it is on your PC. So the best way to reduce this is, once you've got your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro, navigate to the top right hand panel, and as you can see here, it says full. What you wanna do is click that, and you can see we've got, and we've got half and one fourth. Now you can go down to one eighth and one, and one sixteenth, but, those don't really change much and I don't know why it's great on mine, but one fourth does the job. So basically what this is, it's the select playback resolution. It shows the preview of your footage as it would look like if it was exported. So on full is the highest quality settings, the highest quality it can possibly be. Half self explanatory as you go on. Reduces the quality so your, so your PC can handle it. Now the second way to reduce lag in Adobe Premiere Pro is by rendering. Now rendering is a good way, it take, might take a long time, but it's a good way to fully reduce the lag in Premiere Pro. So what you want to do, click I for in and O for out on different parts of your clips on, on the certain segment that you want to render. Navigate up to sequence settings, render into out. And what that's going to do is going to render that on that in and out point. Everything in between those two brackets is going to get rendered. And once it's done, it's going to play back without fail at the highest quality that it possibly can. And the quicker way to do that is just by hitting enter. Do an in and out and then hit enter. And what that's going to do is going to render it quickly without now we're getting up to sequence and then render into out. It's just a quick way to do it. And as a little bit tip, what are these little bars at the top of my screen, like on the top of the timeline? Now red is Premiere Pro telling you that it cannot handle the footage, the current footage that's in the timeline and that you need to render it or do something to reduce the stress on your PC. Yellow means that it can handle it, but it might run into some issues here and there. Again, the higher the quality, the harder it is going to be for your PC to handle and run back the footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. And green means that you've rendered it, it can handle it without fail, and it's going to play back at the highest possible quality. Anyway guys, that's just a quick way on how to reduce lag in Adobe Premiere Pro. I know this can be quite annoying for beginners. I know it certainly annoyed me when I was a beginner. I was like, how do I reduce this lag? How do I get my, my Premiere Pro to run faster? These are two ways that you can do that. First way is a little bit less known, but the second way is guaranteed to get you smoother footage when you render into out. If you need to pray me pro and you want to learn, well, I don't know any of this. This has gone completely over my head. I don't even know how to import footage. I've done a video for you going over the basics and how to import your footage, edit it and export it. I know that exporting panel can be quite confusing to new people to Adobe Premiere Pro. So check out that video if you haven't. And if you just want some tutorials on how to edit, like diff like what the hell's an adjustment layer, how to, how to colour correct and colour grade, I'll compile the playlist in the top right hand corner for you. Click that and you can see all the videos on Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And with that now, I'll see you on the next video.